Uh, hello, royal advisor right here. The inspiration is in... Ninjago just released the two teasers for their story called Dragons Rising. Lego Dreams are making an appearance with the official photos for their upcoming show and the poster. And Legends of Chima Eclipse in Chima as well as Nexonite's Return of Heroes series are about to end this year. <sighs> what? The info is getting really juicy today, so let's take a seat and grab some popcorn. Drama! Corn me, dinkles! Hello everyone, LEGO Clipstars here. Before we get started, if you know the drama, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications and click subscribe so you never miss the info on your favorite entertainment. Now, let's dive in. I was going to have a discussion in real world, but it looks like I'm invited to a dream world. I felt a great disturbance in the force. If you already catched up with all the action, let me tell you the discussion. There's so many leaks that I need to talk about in today's video, so stay with me if you want to hear the info on the drama surrounding the ideas, because the creativity is about to explode! No, not really. So let's start off with LEGO Dreams. LEGO Dreams is the newest LEGO theme that's taking over the dream world by storm, or should I say, the real world. Their trailer of the new series has already been posted and fans were so excited to see how it can be really exciting. Sounds interesting, right? But I checked one of the videos about the sets and there were some fans who thought that it's Nexonites and Chima all over again. This comment reads, I actually prefer Ninjago. Honestly, just watching the trailer, I think it's gonna flop like Nexonites. However, this is only a first impression, so don't take this seriously. Another user wrote, Oh no, it's Chima and Nexonites all over again. I know it is. Yikes. But it gets worse, because another user wrote, Better than Ninjago? Ugh, but it is a dope new series. Ouch. There were some fans who enjoyed this franchise or even hate it. But in my opinion, Like Your Dreams is a franchise that makes all the dreams come true. Because this is a fantasy world full of adventure and action, where the new characters are ready to save the dream world from the forces of evil. The designs for the sets are really creative. The new heroes are giving me the Adventure Time vibes, but better. And I think they look great too. Let's take a look at each character one by one. My personal favorite character is Matteo. He looks really good and his staff made of real pencil is really neat, so good job. Matteo's sister, Izzy, is giving me Izzy Moonbell vibes, but her outfits are really cool looking. And I like how her sword is very accurate, so let's give her an applause, shall we? Zoe is so pretty. Her first outfit is giving me gothic, pretty and punk vibes, and her second look is giving me Mal vibes from Disney's Descendants. She looks so stunning. I love the side glance look. Her outfits are giving me edgy, goth, and punk vibes. And I love her. Logan is giving me Jay from Ninjago mixed with Lance Richmond from Nexonite's vibes, but in the different colors, and I really like him. His outfits are sporty and edgy. They're giving me Ferrari racing uniforms. He's really good looking as well. Mr. Oz as a human looks so good. His outfit is giving me hip hop, what's your flavor vibe. If you know what I mean. What's your flavor? Tell me what's your flavor? His outfit is sporty and, and I think that the style is really great. But I don't like him as a mini version of him because the mini Mr. Oz looks like a gnome. No offense. But the villains are giving me shadow slash dark side vibes. The evil king looks wickedly good and I like him as well. And that's my opinions about LEGO Dreams. If you're a Ninjago fan, you know that Ninjago Dragons Rising teasers were already posted on the official LEGO YouTube channel. And the trailers are so great. Eren and Zora are the newest characters in the Ninjago franchise, as well as the new villains like Rapton and Lord Raz. 
some of the OG ninjas have come back in the first teaser, and I was so happy about it. But there were some pictures that Cole and Jay died, but I think this is not true. It's just not true. I'm sure that Zane, Cole, and Jay will get their appearance too. They're maybe lost in the merge, but one day we will see a comeback for them. Only time will tell. But Ninjago's new series was subject to harsh criticism because this user wrote, Loki, if they don't reference Chima in the new season, I'm going to flip! I mean, the plot is the realms of using to one. Another wrote, is it just me or does he just look like the Crystal King with pupils? Obviously, there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of controversy surrounding the new series. Some of the fans are not excited for the new series because some of the OG ninjas will not make an appearance, including Pixel and Skylar. And to be honest, as a Ninjago fan, this is disrespectful. But I'm so excited to see how it turned out. How do you feel about this drama in this life-changing series? Let me know down below. Because this community is not just about me and my thoughts, but I want to hear your opinions on this. Because if you want to meet the people who are interested in things that you like, all you gotta do is be confident and be yourself. Also, the long-awaited Ninjago's newest web is finally here. Did you know that the Ninjago crystallized web is already out now for streaming and downloading? So, if you don't know, in fall 2022, musical group The Fold have begun to work on Crystallized Whip, which is a theme song for Ninjago season called Crystallized. And I've got to say that the previous season was so good. And this song is giving me Ninjago Overture and Weekend Whip mixed with rock covers, but it's really better. This song is great, and I think. Ninjago will be my favorite cartoon as well as Chima and Nexonites. And speaking of them, Eclipse in Chima and Return of Heroes series are ending this year. Now you may think, why? Why are you ending this series? Well, let me tell you the problem. It's because I was invited to the Institute of Cinema and Television. Crazy, right? But we're not going to talk about it because this is once in a lifetime opportunity for me. But, we're going to talk about how the final episodes of Eclipse in Chima and Nexo Knight's Return of Heroes will be interesting. If you are already watched the latest episode of Eclipse in Chima, you may know that the final battle is coming. But what do you mean, final? Because Heroes of Chima have been through the toughest challenges. And I think that the final battle is going to be really epic because there will be a lot of action and adventure. So stay tuned for that. I haven't even thought about my next night's Return of Heroes finale, but the scripts for the episodes are finished. I promise that the episodes will be on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that as well. I don't think that the series finale for both franchises will be a major win for Ninjago fans because fans think that Ninjago is so much better than Chima and next night and it's really heartbreaking. They will always be a part of my childhood no matter what. But do I think that my shows suck? No, I don't think so. These projects mean so much to me and my friends who remembered these classic franchises from their beginnings. The time has changed and it really does. There's nothing that I can do about it, so deal with it. My life is not easy. I just have to find an inspiration to be the creative person as I am because I have right to be involved in important things that are happening right now. So thank you for joining me in a great journey of comeback for great stories. And I think this is what I'm going to remember the most. Let me know your thoughts about all these leaks that we discussed. Are you excited for the new updates? Are you intrigued, insanely mind blown, or absolutely disgusted? I know that I'm doing anything that I can to post more videos and I think this discussion will be very interesting to talk about. So you know, I figured why I cannot be a bitch. I mean, I might as well do that on the internet. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications and click subscribe so you never miss the info 
on entertainment you like. And there's a lot of my other videos that you're gonna enjoy on my channel, so be sure to check them out too. And you know what? A lot of people commented on my last video, the voices of Repton and Lord Raz were cloned on Eleven Laps because it's a cool text to speech website. Now everyone's coming for the updates on Eleven Laps and you just can't stop watching them again and again.